Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast. Reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for this month, I'm actually using a new deck, which is called the Tarot of Sexual Magic by Laura Twan. And this is quite of a different deck, wherein you know the the cards is actually very sexual and graphic and all of that kind of thing so it may not be suitable for other people it may be something that you guys might fancy if you're into into this so um yeah but what i find interesting is that the imagery is actually depicting a lot about love and relationships so how a person or a reader will be reading this is going to be a little bit different from the normal writer weight which i which i usually use in my my usual monthly readings so yeah this is going to be a different take uh, from the usual but of course i'm still going to be using my intuition as we go along so that is still in place it's just that how i will view the cards i will take into consideration what lord tuan the the creator of the deck um has it's in place you know the insights of each card so i'll give you the information into that as we check in so um yeah without any further ado first of all welcome everyone and this is a general reading even though that the information might be specific one way or another make sure to check in the keywords that i will mention because that is actually how um you will see if you are resonating with things it's not exactly the way that i say it but the overall energy the keywords that i keep repeating those are the things that can actually manifest into your life of course this can you know if i'm really tuning in with your own energy you might find that this is actually a reading specifically made for you but that's not going to be the case for each and every one of course because it's a general reading again this reading goes for all of you guys in the sign of leo whether you have your sun in leo moon in leo or if you have your ascendant sign in leo as well so yeah with your first card of the deck it's actually a very leo oriented sign because you do have the strength card and as you can see you know unlike the usual rider weight you know the usual rider weight it also has a woman and um an uh, uh an animal usually a lion in the in the image but you usually don't see any struggle going on with them but here in this card i'm not sure if you guys can actually see clearly over here yeah it's like um you know you can see that this woman is actually struggling and she's actually having the control you know overcoming something you know overcoming you know battling something so it gives that very leo oriented sign wherein someone is being very passionate you know really um giving the energy of strength and vivaciousness if if i would say so this really is the energy for you so you could be in a situation where any you are going to be extra powerful you could be in a situation where any you want to gain control over something so um of course the strength card can also be a very stubborn stubborn nature card so there could be a situation wherein maybe you are going to be hard-headed uh, you will have that form of personality or attitude that could influence you for the month of august it is being crossed over by the nine of swords and you know what even though that nine of swords is always seen negatively in each and every card you know um the knight of swords here is quite different wherein you know you can still see a man and a woman trying to you know have their own sexy time and all of that it does have a black hat in this in this deck 
which can signify, you know, difficult energies like misfortunate um, happenings or, you know, uh, karmic uh, karmic endeavors or mysterious kind of things. But the key here is really more about, you know, basically the message of the card in, in the usual Tower of Magic deck is basically telling us that even though a relationship has its own problems, it's not about the end of the world you know you need to try again to make an effort once again and it's just like you know having some form of sexual intercourse if you, if someone is not in the mood for something you try to make an effort you know even though they push you away sometimes you know it all goes back to zero you need to start things from fresh it's like every time you you have a, a sexual intercourse with someone the normal kind of thing is that you know you always go into foreplay first you know that is going to be the starting point each and every time so um it has a form of similar energy so with that in place, I would say that this could be a situation wherein maybe you're trying to overcome something or a situation wherein there is something that is not really within your your own plans, your own your own sink of energy. Because we're dealing with the nine of swords here and ideally this is a card of disappointment and stuff like that so imagine the strength card and the card of of the card the card of um emotional disappointment so there could be something right there maybe you're trying to overcome it or maybe you are going to be very angry with something or you could be in a situation wherein you're wanting to overcome the problems that you're facing whether it's in your in your personal life or in a relationship you know and you do have the foundation card of the ace of cups which is all about happiness success and love so you know all of the things that i've mentioned earlier you know everything is going to be all about love all, all at the same time we do have here in the recent past um the the moon card which is a very emotional card very intuitive all at the same time and it is also the card of fancy and, and this deck is actually a very positive card where it you know everything is a feel-good moment so i just would say that in this reading i find this a very very emotional oriented month for a lot of leos out there at the top of the reading we do have here a very interesting card it is the five of wands yes and unlike the five of wands that we see in a normal deck where in every time there's always some form of fight and engagement, what is happening here is actually there is some form of, you know, a sexual intercourse happening between a man and a woman and someone um, taking a look, you know, seeing, seeing the act and watching <laughs> what's happening right there. And in the Tarot of Sexual Magic, the, the keyword that it has is watching, you know, being watched, you know, finding out. And it's really more about sharing. And if we take a look on this, you know, overall, if I compare every um, card here and, and stuff, I'd say that there could be a situation wherein, you know, um you might find out something you know something maybe you find out someone is cheating behind your back that is a possibility though you know it's just it's just a possibility it's not something that i really see in this reading though we do have a lot of very sneaky cards if you would notice like you see this man watching watching the couple and then we also see this guy you know sneaking up behind a woman so there is an energy here and you're finding out something that you're not supposed to find out or there is an energy of surprise here you know there is could there could be sudden changes in the relationship 
especially where we have this five of swords and the keyword for the five of swords in the tower of sexual magic is shaking things up you know there are shakes and you know sudden changes sudden happenings in the relationship and this card is actually at the position about the other person the other person in the relationship so there could be some shaking or some form of changes especially we have you know aquarius as the biggest element of energy in astrology for the month of august here and aquarius is all about sudden changes because it's very uranus oriented all at the same time another way that i will take a look at this is that maybe you know you are trying to overcome something overcome a relationship overcome a difficult situation in the relationship by trying to engage more you know maybe you're thinking that it could possibly that this is you thinking about you know thinking about some form of bond between you and your partner maybe there has been some form of distance because the nine of swords is all about distance you know there is a distance between you know from cool to warm kind of energy there is a distance there is a time to recover from harmony that kind of situation so you might be in a situation wherein you know maybe you're missing those old times wherein things have been passionate and things are not very very much um you know very dull you know you're desiring for something more fun something more engaging you know you want to be tuned in with your partner you want to to connect with them in a very deeper level and that might be something that is in your mind so it doesn't always have to be some form of cheating and anything negative like that it could just be that you wanting to improve the situation and the relationship you know, maybe you wanted this something more something more passionate and something more fulfilling all at the same time and again uh we do have this the two of pentacles this is actually the two of pentacles at as the future card of the reading and contrary to the usual two of pentacles this is actually the card of uneasiness so you know because you know there is no security there is something uneasy about it and especially when when we take a look and the the normal rider weight you know the two of pentacles over there is all about balancing two things at the same time because we cannot handle them both so there is still some form of worry in that should will i be able to juggle this will i be able to balance this out all those kinds of things so i feel that this has the influence of worries all at the same time so maybe because you don't know where things are going there are there is a worrying factor going on here it could be that you are in a situation wherein you wanting to surprise your partner that kind of energy or there is some again there is definitely going to be some form of surprise um happening or being influenced in your relationships and we also have here the ten of pentacles which is all about love you know love and desire to love per to love someone and being loved all at the same time is the energy of influence in here so yeah i kind of feel that if for some of you guys maybe you you wanting to please someone and it could be something that is not of a norm at this time especially it, we do have the covid situation happening with us so there are social distancing but you are in a situation wherein you wanted to connect you wanted to bond with someone again i'm not um disregarding the fact that this can actually turn into a negative situation especially when someone is becoming too much it could be a situation wherein you know um you are expressing everything in an over exaggerated kind of way and maybe they're not agreeing into that uh, you know there could be some struggle in that all at the same time there could be some sudden shocks some sudden rev revelations that you find out with your partnership and that could really shake things up 
uh, one way or another. We do also have here the honesty and devotion card, which is the I'm pretty sure that this is the Queen of Wands. Yes. This is the Queen of Wands, which is all about honesty and devotions because the woman is undressing in front of the man. So you are hoping, hoping and wishing for some truth in the relationship. So it's becoming more stronger about finding out something about the relationship in most cases you know as we go deeper into this we're fine we're, we are you know getting the idea that you know what you want is truth and honesty it could also be a situation wherein you want to you are wanting to be the best ver version of yourself to your partner and all of that and the last card of the reading we do have here the knight of uh yeah the knight of wands which is a very you know a very passionate kind of a card because there is a couple right there and hugging and embracing each other while riding a horse which is very much um exotic i would say it's a very adventurous card of full of passion and it depicts the energy of embracing you know really holding on and really really showing your passion to your partner that kind of energy so this could be a situation wherein you know you might see a lot of action in the relationship very passionate all at the same time and i would say that this can also be a warning not to be very impulsive with the way you communicate and the way you act because maybe you think that something sketchy is happening you know you might be overly impulsive with your own self-expression and that and to a point wherein you might shame your other person and maybe you're just not finding out the complete story here you know you are self-assuming something that is not true so or maybe you know there there are just quite a few things that you still don't know yet so be careful in being overly passionate with the things that you say and speaking of that our astro dice we actually have the moon in the sign of leo in the third house so this becomes especially true wherein you know you you are becoming you know very emotional and with the third house all about our thoughts and our emotions so you might be overly expressive to a point wherein you're not even thinking about the other person you know you're not gonna listen to their excuses you're not even going to be listening to the things that they're saying you just keep going talking on and on be from the things that you you feel is happening even though you don't have all of the facts so you might you know you might need to also hold your horses you know i mean hugging while riding a horse can be scary on in its own way so there but it's essentially it's a good card because it's like a card that that tells us that that tells us that there's going to be some form of improvement in the relationship some form of growth and some form of you know real bonding going on between the two of you and this can also be a situation where a message can really be happening some forward movement can occur definitely so um yeah and i feel that you know if you are open to things there could also be some form of clarity in place as well especially if there are some doubts suspicion going on with you at this time so um yeah this is about you overcoming adversity over you know um if there are other questions going on in your mind you will put an end into that but definitely i just feel that major shifts is going to be happening in your relationship it could be very much in a positive way you know it doesn't have to be negative but you are definitely going to be finding out quite a few things from your partner or from the relationship and whether you accept that or not 
you will come into terms terms into that and the only thing that the only thing that you are going to be hoping for is that there is going to be real commitment at the end of this cycle and yeah that is my reading for you guys leo i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your situation and yeah i kind of feel that at, at one point this reading is actually very similar to cancer but i actually recorded this on different days so uh and i shuffled it really really well so you know th there could be a link to that especially you know we still have cancer and leo energy going on in the skies anyway so you can just watch the cancer video if if you feel resonated with that um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i will be seeing you guys again next month bye